strikers. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Listen. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's been what seems to be about three years in space. I'm, I'm slowly losing my mind. The, the quantum drives on the ship seem to be powered by a hamster on a hamster wheel. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope someday we make it to our destination, but if you get this message, know that we tried. We tried. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more Star Citizen, ladies and gentlemen. We're back and my character kind of looks the same. Um, for you, I swear, they do an upgrade to Foyp every single time there's a new update. So let me know if you can see anything that's different. First thing I notice, it seems like... Oh, what is happening? It seems like my teeth are like kind of off to the side a little bit. Instead of like centered. What is happening with my mouth there? I don't know, but we're going to have to try and fix that at some point. Uh, but today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be a first impressions at 3.8.2 and also a tour and first impressions of the Carrick. we got Kaz here with me. Uh, he's pulling out his Carrick right now. We're going to go test that bad boy out. And I'm just going to give my first impression. Oh, Jesus, that's so bright. Uh, we're going to give my first impressions of the Carrick. I have never driven it. I was never in the PTU. So I'm very excited to test thing out. I'm very excited. We have an org event tomorrow. Make sure you guys tune into the Discord if you're interested in joining that. Um, I will be sure. Blah, 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 blah. I will be live streaming that on YouTube also. Uh, but make sure you get there early so you can be a part of it. You know what I mean? Get the invites and all that good stuff. Link in the description to the Discord. I'd appreciate it. Also, new merchandise. That's right. We have new merchandise. My second launch of merchandise, and this is probably my favorite. We've already sold out quite a lot. Um, uh, yeah, I posted it in Discord, and you guys went crazy in Discord. Um, but it, it's awesome. We got a new Murphy's Law Trading Company logo. We got a new Ted t-shirt, and then the original, like, KJH collection's in there, too. So if you're interested in that, it should be down there. You should be able to see it, like, down there somewhere. Um, but it's really cool, so check it out if you haven't already. But anyway, let's jump into this video. First thing I noticed, you know, let's go take a little look. First thing I actually noticed, um, I don't want to keep Kaz waiting here too long. But first thing I did notice is if you look here, I have the Valkyrie! So that's something that I'm super excited about, but also I feel terrible because if you guys know, the org, this was used for the org event, basically, and um, it was supposed to be Laban that was purchasing this ship, but he let me purchase it because we were going to have the wipe. and Well, everyone thought we were going to have a wipe, so he let me purchase it so I could do a, a review on that ship and a fully upgraded um, video, but now I still have it, so I feel bad, but it's okay. I'll just give it to him every time we have an org event and whenever he wants it. Uh, maybe I'll have to grind so I can buy him one. I don't know, but I feel bad. Sorry, Laven. Uh, but you can use it whenever you want. It's your ship. I, it's just in my hangar. All right, guys. So let's find... Kaz. Oh, he's over here. Are you on the landing pad? Double zero. Double zero. Coming. All right, guys. This is it. This is my first impressions. Uh, 3.8.2. First impression, first impression, is I'm so happy that we still have the Valkyrie, and I'm so happy Persistence is here. I'm sure you guys are all super stoked about that too. Um, and now it's all about the character. Or whatever else happens. I looked at the patch notes, but I'm going to be honest. It looked like the same patch note. Wait, did he say double O? It's double O, right? Obviously. Uh, it's the same. It, the patch notes look exactly the same as the old patch notes. I'm going to be honest. It said, like, known bugs. Oh, no! I've done it again. No, let me back out. No! Hold on. See if everything's still here. And it Guys. Look like it is. <sighs> New patch. I'm still an idiot. And all that. Go figure. I forgot my helmet. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll just claim the Pisces real quick. And then first things first. Restart it. Um, he was talking about, before we even look at the ship over here, he was talking about how he had a rover in the back and a Pisces in the back of his ship. Um, and it looks like it's not, he just, you know, got his ship here and it's, uh, it's not in there. So that's one thing, I you know, that we know now, that it doesn't stay stored in your ship. 
Um, just thought I'd mention it, you know. Why not? Okay, let's go see it, though. First impressions of the Carrick. I saw a little glimpse of it. I'm not going to lie. You can probably see it in the reflection of my helmet right there. It looks cool. All right, let's go. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, I've seen videos on it, obviously. But it is bigger than I thought it was going to be. It also has very hard edges. To the point where it kind of looks plastic. This is just my first impressions. It's bigger than I thought. It looks cooler from this point of view than I thought it would. Because um, I have said in the past on my live streams that I didn't like the look of it. But it does. It looks plastic. I mean... Maybe I'm just being too harsh on it. I admit that could be the thing. But it doesn't look... It looks like a rendered ship. It doesn't look like it has much shadowing on it. Or like distress. It looks very, like, plastic? Is that... Listen, I'm not trying to offend anyone, I promise. It's still a cool ship. I'm just giving my first impressions, okay? Leave me alone. All right. So let's continue the walk around. Kaz is going to get on board. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. I love these side shields with the turrets. I think that looks awesome. It's, ni it's nice. It's nice. Maybe it's because it's a brand new ship, right? That's why it doesn't look distressed. Maybe that's what they're going for. You know, they make brand new ships. Why are they going to look distressed? Oh, yeah, I see a little bit of distress right here. All right. Okay. I assume these are like the cargo pods at the bottom. Are these similar to like the um, the caterpillars going to be where you can replace all the different things? Oh, someone's pissed off up there. Is that a window? If it is, that's cool. That is sure indeed a window. All right. It is bigger than I thought. In all honesty, I thought it was good. Not half the size, but maybe... I thought it would be two-thirds of this. You know what I mean? It is a lot bigger than I thought. The front load is something that I forgot about that looks pretty cool. I know the visibility in this ship is supposedly incredible. It's a cool... It, it is a cool ship. Is it $500 worth? We're going to find out here in a second. Would I spend $500 on this thing? I know it originally was like 320 which even then I was like, oh, okay, you know, that's doable. But then when I saw $500, I was like, yeah, I think I'll pa I think I'd prefer to get the Merchantman. Isn't the Merchantman, like, cheaper than this? Which kind of blows my mind. Okay, there's obviously a lift in there, an elevator, if he's going up and down like that. All right, I like it. All right, we should probably get in it, though, before some random people come and jump on board. Because he's left the door open here. Um, but let's just have a quick little look at the bottom. Big legs. Like it. It's like you can actually jump up inside of them. What happens if you're standing on this when the legs close? Can you be a stowaway? <laughs> that would be sick. I'm just going to throw that out there. If you could be a stowaway on a ship, like you hide underneath these uh, the legs when they go up. I mean, that one doesn't look like you can. But tell me this one doesn't look like you can hide on this. And then when it takes off, you can get stored up inside. That would actually be sick. Right? I don't know why. It just I just think it would. Okay, so it's not completely flush with the floor. So I don't know how how easy that's going to be for to drive things up into it. Maybe it's just here, though. It's a big door, isn't it? All right, first test is going to be how quick is it to close. How do I close it? You have to use this thing. Close door. I think I'm just used to the... I think I'm just used to the Valkyrie now. Because that thing's like... <laughs> done. That took about a year. <laughs> I get it. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Alright, I like it. I like it. So, I feel like... I don't know how to start this off. Because I don't want to keep... Kaz waiting. What is this, then? Do I want to go upstairs just yet, though? Probably not. What does this button do? Open. Oh, so, it opens that. Okay, so there's multiple ways to open it. All right. So, I'm tra this is a big ship. I feel like we should meet up with Kaz first. See what the plan is. And then... How do I open this door? I have to call the elevator. Okay. See what the plan is. And then afterwards, I'll walk around in the ship. I think... Bloody hell, did I just fall over? You see that? I went flying. What did I hit? 
I know there's a few bugs with the ship. You know, I'm not gonna pretend that this thing's gonna be perfect. I do understand there's a few bugs. How you can fall through and get flown through walls. Alright, it sounds loud up here. What's this loud noise? I'm assuming it's the engines. This is one of the turrets. Very noisy around here. What is this? Surely you open because you're bloody noisy as hell. Is that camera? No, it's an alarm. Alright, there's something very noisy in here, but it's the elevator. Where's the elevator going to take me to then? Alright, well, I guess we're going in the elevator. I like that. I do like the new elevator, like touch things. The blip. Oh. Jesus Christ, it's a bloody TARDIS! Alright, he's got to be moving, right? He's got to be moving. Alright, let's go to the. Um, am I going to pretend I know what these things are? Let's just go to the photography deck. Let's go to the photography deck, right? Wow. I mean, this thing is. This thing's cool. I mean, it's TARDIS. I, I know I said it looked big, but this thing is massive. What did I just do? Oh. Cool if you could set waypoints. I'm sure that's coming in the future. Okay, I'm done with you. Can you just let me off? Thank you. Alright, this is cool. What else have we got? Oh, this is the windows! Wait, we've taken off, right? Have we not taken off? Are we still sitting on the pad? I'm like a little kid trying to look out the window. Like, where are we going? I hear noises. Escape pod? Don't need to go in there. Does it open though? That would be cool. Alright, where's this then? Oh, that's the elevator. Escape pod. I don't think we've taken off. There's another Carrick over there. Carrick's for life. Alright, let's see what this airlock's all about. Is this where you throw people and then they die? Oh, this goes out. Alright, don't take off. I'm on the bloody... Oh, okay! No, let's go back. Back, 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 back. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ah, oh, of course I fell over. Am I bloody dead? Calm yourself. Calm your bloody self. I fell over. I bet you did. Okay, sorry. A little confused there. Alright, so what should we do first? I've uh, I've had a little look at the ship, but I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. What's, what's a good thing for me to do? Should I just tour around the ship first, or should we go for a fly, or what? Yeah, let's go for a fly, and then uh, we'll go. Alright. I'm just going to follow you. All right, we're, follow we're following Kaz. I've not a bloody clue what I'm doing. As always, I'm not going to pretend I do. So we're just going to... Habitation deck. All right. Like I say, guys, we'll... we'll a particular place you want to go, or...? Uh... Not in particular. We'll tour the ship, guys, in a little bit. Let's just have a little bit of fun with it first. Oh, this is nice. This is very Star Trek-y, is it not? Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. I know I heard some people talking through the grapevine that this should work. I mean, it's not a real pool table or snooker table. Can we be honest? I mean, it's not even a rectangle, is it? Right? All right. Nope. So I'll take us out. What is this? Okay. Oh, this is the bridge. Wait, can I go upstairs to the top bridge? I want to see the top bridge! Let's have a look from the cockpit first. Yeah, look at that for a bloody view. Okay. It's got a really decent... Alright, I like it. It's got a good view. It's got a good view. I'm pretty sure I can go upstairs though, right? Is this a button? Bleep! It's just a weird little... Bleep! Upper bridge. That's where we're bloody going. See you later, hater. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as far as I thought. I mean, it's the upper bridge. It's not going to be miles away, is it? Jesus. All right, we're in the upper bridge. See, now this is sick. Is this, this is where the captain would sit, right? You got the pilot down there, then you got the captain up here. And I know you can drive it from here, so I'm going to try not to touch these because I don't want to... Oh, is this where engineering? Who'd sit up here? Uh, someone's gonna yell at me in the comments for what I just said. I don't know. 
This is sick view, though. I mean, this is where I'd want to be. This is where, that's why I'm here, I guess. All right, let's go. All right, so we got a few minutes. Let's take a quick tour. All right. All right, guys, he's going to give us a quick little tour. This thing's cool. Uh, don't worry, I'll fly it eventually, okay? I'll fly it eventually, but I think this is my spot right here. Captain. All right. Okay. So here's the upper bridge. I don't think a lot of this works a whole lot, but you got to snap it. Yeah, it looks cool. So you yeah, can here. fly the ship from up here, right? Yeah, I think you can from the command console right here. Where, where have I gone then? All right, here we go. That's pretty cool. All right, let's continue. Sorry if this is all over the place, guys. Got a little elevator here to go to the lower bridge. All right, I'll get on here with him. I don't know if we're going, we're going down. I like that outfit. That's sick. You got the pilot seat and then a couple of co-pilot seats. Pretty standard stuff. Big fan, big fan. I like it. I love this deck. This looks so sick. You got habitation here. You got a mess hall over here. You got a direct room over here. Um, three quarters is right here, too. Oh, bloody hell, look at this! Sir! Guys, we need this for an org event. We just need it. We need to all sleep here. It'd be cool if they had a med bay. The shower room. Let's have a little look in the shower. Hope no one's in there. All right, I like it. Just, he's locked me in the shower. Okay. This is nice. This is a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be honest. And uh, another shower room. Sorry. Oh, these are toilets. Uh, Can't see myself. I'm going mad. All right. So we've got toilets, shower room. Little breakfast, lunch, tea, dinner area. We're a little desynced. If you guys haven't noticed, I apologize. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, this is much nicer than I thought it was going to be. Where's he gone? Okay. What are we on? Deck we two. Oh, they do have a med bay. Who the hell's this guy? And a stowaway. I knew someone was going to jump on. Has he got a gun in his hand? You better not. You got a stowaway. What do we do with her? Hmm. As long as you keep that finger off that gun. Hold on one sec. I don't have my global comms thing on. Why is it always... I don't have... Someone killed me. Well, I was trying to be nice. Ah! That's what I get. I should have gone in the bloody med bay. I was trying to turn my freaking global com on thing. Well, that was bloody annoying, guys. I bloody got dead. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I shouldn't have. I was trying to turn my global comms on. Why the bloody hell's global comms not freaking working then? Oh, it's the right. I changed switch to talk because I'm a bloody buffoon. Ah, uh, well, I'm a PO. Well, guys, we're going to wait for cars to come back over. We should have known better. I was literally, I'm going to be honest, was seconds away from shooting that person. But I was like, you know what? We'll be nice. And then I tried doing voice chat with them. And it's because I, I forgot that I switched my push to talk. So my Discord push to talk, my in-game push to talk are two different buttons now. So mm, uh, next time we'll just kill them. I think it's the, the moral to this story. All right, let's wait for cars and uh, we'll jump back into the tour. Uh, literally the med bay too. That's where you're going to freaking kill me. Wait, did they... S Maybe they set the I see you at the med bay. Is that a possibility? Can they... When they were on your ship, were they able to set their spawn point on your ship? Yeah, they set the spawn point. Are they on your ship now? Yeah, it's the yeah they're on the ship. <laughs> as soon as he killed you, I killed her and... Yeah. So they have taken over his ship. They're oh, on his well. med bay. Well, we got hijacked. First impression 3.8.2. Freaking awesome. <laughs> I love this shit, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie.
I think he did the right thing, guys. He set self-destruct on the ship because they set their spawn point on the ship. So we were pretty much doomed. That's the best troll thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it's you know, that's that's a good troll. Get on, sneak on board a ship, set that as your spawn point. <laughs> wow, that was that's cool. Maybe I should do that. Maybe not. I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. <laughs> Ten minutes to respawn this ship. Wow, that's a long, uh, the caterpillar is only seven minutes. I can hear music over here. Do they have some bloody speakers? Someone listen to music over here with the headphones up too loud? What the hell's going on? Now it's quiet. Um, so yeah, we have to wait 10 minutes, guys. So there'll be a little pause here for me, but seconds for you. Um, I'll just go with Kaz. Hi right, guys, so we're back. Uh, for those of you who've never seen this ship before. <laughs> Uh, that was fun. I don't know. I feel like it had to happen, right? My first time on a Karak. I feel like that's what people are doing right now. You know, I feel like it would be fun. It would be fun to do. I wouldn't be hostile though. I'd just see for how far I can make it before anyone notices me. Try to sneak around. Maybe lie down on the floor underneath them. <laughs> Spook them a little bit. Right, how do you open this thing? Ah, oh, I see that little button right there. See, the thing is, this thing takes so long to open and close. Anyone can literally fly down and jump onto it. And by the time you close this thing, it's too late. All right, guys. So I think what we'll do this time, we'll get in the co-pilot seat right here. And just have a little look what it looks like from the outside. Um, before we continue. Ooh, it's like I made a bloody roller coaster. Oh. All systems online. All right. We're on board. It sounds cool. Should be a stowaway under there. I think you know we've got to try it. We've got to try and see if you could be a stowaway underneath there, for sure. Uh, it looks cool in this light. Wait, this is the white one, right? I thought it was more black, white and black. I know there is a black one as well. Is this the the white variant? I believe so. The expedition would be the uh, color variant. Right, guys, looking at it from this point of view, it, it does it does look better than when it was landed on the floor. I like all the windows you can see. You can see straight through to the other side. That would be cool. It definitely looks better from this point of view. Look at all those thrusters. I can't wait to fly this, see what it feels like. This has some massive thrusters, though, that's for sure. All right, so it has one... Tore it on the bottom, one on each side, and I'm assuming one on top. Okay. Alright, and we're off again. Alright, guys, here we go. Let's see what the quantum looks like. Oh! Is that new? I've never seen that before. That's gotta be new, right? The. You see that? It was like. That looks new. Okay, I don't know if it is or I'm just going crazy. Should we start it over or should we pick up where we left off? Let's pick up where we left off. I'll come out now. Alright, guys, we gotta pick up where we left off. <laughs> All right, so my flashbacks. Feeling, got the med bay right here. I can't wait for this thing to work, where it like flushes you. Oh yeah, like decontamination and all that. But yeah, you got a uh, two level one med beds, and then you got a uh, level two. So what's the difference between the level one and the level two? I'm not too sure. I think the main difference is going to be um, the level of care provided. Like in a level two med bed, like you'll be able to be treated for more serious injuries. Whereas level one, it's like oh, you just have like a minor gunshot wound or something like that. And you can't set your spawn point on the level ones, then, right? I think you can. Because I think in here you can just go to this. Yeah, so you can set. So yeah, if I go to this screen, it lets me set this. <coughs> These screens don't say anything. So that could be a thing, guys. Yeah, so you don't need to get in the bed. That's cool. How you can set this. I feel like I should set this. Yeah, I think that would be another big difference. That, I'll have to... that looks cool in there, though. Can you actually... 
you know what? It's fine. We've, we've set this as our thing. Am I? Am I? Hello? Getting stuck already. All right, let's follow. Where's he gone? 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 All right, cool deck. I like it a lot. Oh, this deck looks sick. This looks like something out of Star Trek. I'll be honest. This elevator though is mental. Going up to the technical deck. Oh, I like how you can see what they select there too. You can see in here we have the hangar bay. Hangar bay looks good. Hopefully you guys can hear him okay. Usually you can. That is a long walk over to that, I'll be honest. Hopefully I'm going the right... Where the bloody... Where... <laughs> We're decent, guys! Okay, you with me? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Okay, because the decent is really messed with me. Because it feels like I'm talking to myself here. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to stick to you. I won't move away. Alright. <laughs> so, follow the doors. This console here will open up the... Oh. Wait, you could use it when you're in quantum? I guess you can open up a lot of doors when you're in quantum, though. That's sick. wonder if you fly into space. So when those doors are open and you walk in there, are you going to get sucked up? Um, maybe. I don't want to try it right now. I could try it. I set my ICU in the ship. Okay, so you could just do it aside. All right, guys, let's see. No! Okay, no, you can walk around in it. Nice. This is cool! So you could make a little basketball court in here. Okay, so back here, <laughs> this is pretty much symmetrical. Uh oh. Uh, this guy here, he goes to the turret over there. Come in. And you got the same on the other side. Here's just some engineering stuff for when component maintenance is going to be a thing. Dude, this thing is insane. This is insane. The size of these bloody air. This looks sick. Turret that goes to the other side. Look how long these corridors are for the turret. Yeah, but the circles. This is crazy. I said I wasn't going to leave him and then I left Here's him. The, uh, I'm sorry, Kaz, if you're watching this. Here. This part here is actually pretty interesting. This is the uh, drone thing. For when drones and exploration is going to be a thing. Oh, no way. This looks sick. What yeah, drone the thing? idea is going to be like uh, you'll be able to send out drones and probes to explore stuff and recover them without ever, ever having to leave the ship. Oh, wow. That's going to be awesome. What is in this little badger? Oh, uh, over here, we ah, have uh, I'm behind again. Fourth bench for component maintenance as well. Nice. I like it. See that people are still using the same have, uh, tools 200 pods, years from now. And from here we got the upper bridge. The upper bridge is sick, guys. I wonder what it's like piloting from up here. I'll have to test that out later. Walk back to the main elevator in the back. And I like these little windows. There's not much to see at the upper deck, so we'll just go down to the sub deck and. All right. We'll check out the upper deck later. God, the desync is so, mental. Let's see here. These are um, armor racks. You'll be able to put armor in here once that feature becomes implemented. You got the uh, oh, sick. Oh. belly turret here. Sure for that. Like it. Like uh, it. Weapon locker. Oh. <laughs> on the other side. These doors, man. Got the cargo bay right here. Oh, this is sick. Uh, a little elevator that can uh, take you down to the floor. Have you done any cargo runs in this yet? Like big ones? I've done a couple of small things. Nothing too big because I don't. I haven't uh, been playing too much, so I don't have a whole lot of money to do it. Gotcha. But this thing has about 475 SU cargo capacity. That's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. And here's a garage for locked up. And all right, um, back down here. I saw a couple of YouTube videos about what we could fit in here. Some people were able to fit uh, Merlins in here. Like two oh, really? Yeah. So 
the amount of stuff this guy can carry is really amazing. This is a bigger ship than I thought. 100%. I feel like I'm going to run into him at some point and die. That way. We'll go in here. I just want to have a little peek. This is snug, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, that's pretty much. Yeah, I'll let you walk around and make comments and do your thing, and then we can get us a couple vehicles in here and then do the next thing. All right, perfect. I'm just gonna have a little look around. All right, guys. Thanks, Kaz, for the tour. Um, now I think it is up to me just to have a little peek around, see if there's anything that I missed. The med bay in this thing is sick. Oh, this is the elevator. I'm an idiot. I want to go up to the top deck, though, just to see what it is. He said there wasn't much to see up there, but I haven't seen it, so we'll we'll go see. Wait, the, it's the cartography deck, though. I thought we were on that. Isn't that where we just were? No, oh, wrong way. Okay, yeah, this is where we were. This deck, it is cool, though. I mean, he's right. There is not really too much. I do like the windows. Love me some windows. Airlock. Okay, now this thing's closing. What a basketball court, though. You know what I mean? That's what we'll be doing down there, for sure. I mean, the details in the ship are incredible. They really are. I'm a big fan. A lot of doors that... Is there anything on the other door? This is sick, though. I really do like this. Okay. So I think we've seen... I think we've seen everything. Let's call the elevator. I don't think there's anything I missed. Maybe we'll go back down to the third level. Jesus. This ship sounds incredible. Let's go back to the tech deck. Tech deck, tech deck. The ship sounds great. I always face the wrong bloody way. The noises on board this ship are really cool. Yeah, that's sick little room to play around in. Imagine having Fight Club in there. Open that bad boy up. <laughs> Elevators. What was this room again? This is probably my favorite room so far. Obviously, it's not functional right now. But I think it looks cool. I feel like this ship's too big to be like... Um... Sorry, the flip's not working since we're quantuming around the planet here. Um, I feel like this ship's too big to solo pilot. It's not like the caterpillar where it's like fairly simple. I mean, if someone sneaks on board, <laughs> you ain't finding them. You're not finding them. Like, I didn't even notice anyone was on board. It's cool. Some boxes of supplies. Looks like we haven't got, we haven't finished unpacking yet. Latex gloves, some medical supply books, I'm sure. A lot of oxygen. All right, I like it. I do. I mean, this ship sounds incredible. I don't know what he's doing out there, but it sounds great. I can't wait for this to work, though. When you come in, it's like... Nah, I need to go see what he's doing. I need to sit down somewhere. I do need to fly this. That's going to be the last thing we do, is me flying this thing. I have to test it out by myself. Because I'm curious as a trading ship. Because right now, what else are people going to use this for? It depends on how heavy it is to fly. If you could use this as like an Org ship in place of like the Valkyrie. I think the Valkyrie is better for Org missions though. Just because of the layout and how simple it is. But maybe this would be good. I need to see how this thing flies. I got to see how this thing flies. Let's see how easy it looks. Keep in mind, people always make it look easy. When I do it, not so much. Alright, he made it look easy. It sounds incredible, though. It sounds great. I do think there's a few issues. There we go. Oh. Sounds great. Oh, I forget it opens on the front. So you've got to give yourself some space on the front, right? Look how far you can walk up here. It looks like I'm outside, does it not? 
Are you still sitting in the driver's seat? I don't know if he's fully crashed, because I'm talking to him in Discord, and even Discord, he's not there. What is this on the floor? What on earth is this? What is it? What on earth is this? I couldn't tell you. In the slightest. Yeah, sorry about that. I had a phone call. I had to update. Oh, no, no problem. So, what is this thing? All right, look, look it up. The servers or this guy here? It's just this dot in the I'm middle. Just... This thing I opened. I'm not entirely sure. It's like a trophy cabinet. Because I know smuggling is possibly going to be a thing. So might be that, but... Don't even know what that is, guys. Well, it's labeled avionics, so it might be something for parts to repair and whatnot. Oh, okay. You can see uh, here, we have all the servers here for data running and uh, mapping, which is what this guy is going to be for. Oh, so it wow. might be just repairs for all these. Uh -huh. All right, cool. All right, I'm following you. I'm just yeah, going to we put my trophy in it. Time where you can pick up some vehicles and take them. You know what's going in that thing over there that you guys just saw? My first place trophy during the event we had the other day that I won. That's what's going there. The big, big platinum trophy. See, the thing with this ship is, I feel like people can easily sneak on and off. Imagine if you're waiting here. This It, it takes forever for this thing to open. And not only that, like by the time you get off, someone's already bloody on board. This is interesting though, because it's still not flush with the floor. I'm curious to see. I mean, it does take a while. I wonder if it's supposed to be this slow. Huh. Alright. Alright guys, we're going to pick up some vehicles. To load up into the ship. It looks cool. It blends in really well to this place. It's like all the same color scheme. Ooh, these engines, baby! Oh, I love this thing. It's the first plate. <clears throat> Don't saw that. I'm gonna milk that first place win on Microtech forever. You know. You know what, guys? You saw nothing. You saw absolutely nothing. All right, so let's see how easy it is. All right, it drives on there fairly easily. I'll try and get it as close to this side as possible so I can get in and out, or so he can get some room. I think this is a good spot. It's just caution on the floor. Alright. Let's get out of this thing. Alright. It fits. Yeah, very spacious in here. Like I said, I fit uh, two rovers in here side by side and with a lot more cramped. Alright. I would say it's about the same size back here as like a, uh, a Freelancer Max. But the Max obviously is narrower. But it would fit, you could fit two Cyclones in a Freelancer Max. You could probably fit three in here, so yeah, it's bigger. I like it. Alright. Listen to those thrusters, baby! The little pops! I love it. I wonder if I can jump off the tech deck onto the bottom deck. <clears throat> sure can. <laughs> Look at this for a view, though. He's not going to be able to see a thing. Look how far away I am from him. This just gives me anxiety. Terrified of heights. This is too clear. Go. Alright, guys. So, we're going to head over to Stanhope. Oh, the folks not going to work while we start getting all over the place. Apologize. But we're going to head to Stanhope and uh, take these things for a spin and just see uh, the beautiful ship for what it is. Have a little play around with it. And then when we leave, that's when I'll uh, ask if I can pilot this thing and I'll uh, see what happens.
So yeah guys, this is my trophy cabinet if no one's seen it yet. This is where I keep my platinum trophy from winning the race the other day that I came first place in if no one knew about it. Look at it, how beautiful that is. This is my trophy and I love it and we will all appreciate it. First place trophy, okay? Now I'm going to put it away and no one's going to see it again because it's probably never going to happen again. So I'm going to keep it there. Nice and safe. Nice and safe. You know, maybe this is where I'll keep my other trophies. You know? We have an event coming up tomorrow. Like I say, make sure you guys are all into that. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's a top secret event. Uh, get into Discord, like I say, if you want to be invited into it when it's happening. Um, I'm not sure the exact time yet. Again, go into Discord. But uh, this is where I'll keep those trophies. Because you know your boys are going to come first place. Or maybe they'll all be bronze trophies. Or maybe they'll all be participation trophies. Who the bloody hell knows, but this is where those are going to be kept, I think. Locked in there as well. Well, this doesn't look safe, does it? It's just got needles sticking out all over the bloody place. Come on now. Catheter needles. Well, you don't leave them like that, that's for sure. Got gloves all over the... You guys are a messy budge. Need a better crew. See, this is why you can't have a single crew. You know what I mean? You can't you can't do all this by yourself. I am curious about this. Can I get on this bed and actually go into the thing? I mean <laughs> Maybe can't get in the bed. But if it fits, I sits. Alright guys, we're in this thing. No, I don't want to clear it, I wanna get treated. I just wanted to go inside. Oh, look at that bloody light, though. I just want to go in there. I need to hurt myself so I can get in here. Oh, it's dark. Ah, well. All right, guys. Oh, see those flames coming out of this thing? What did I? What have I done now? What is this? Oh, I'm all out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it is dark, but it's nice little sunrise or sunset. Hopefully it's sunrise, but you know it's going to be sunset. All right, what do you reckon? Do we go towards the trees or do we go towards the sunset? Oh! <laughs> Watch this first step. It's a bit of a doozy. All right, guys. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Listen! Never in my life done that before in this game. I have oh, never done that. That was insane. I I have never seen that happen before, where we both explode instantly. Did we just land in the water like straight away? No, I think it was the I think it was the drop. I mean, I've gone off bigger drops than that. There's no way that was the drop, guys. And I don't know why didn't we. I didn't spawn in the ship. I think it's because yeah, you... because we died at the same time, so... I spawned, and then... You tried to spawn, and something happened. So, if I die now, will I go onto your ship, or will I just stay here? Guys, we bloody spawned back here, because we both died at the exact same time. So that was fantastic. So what we're going to do now... Is, uh, one of these badges. And just see! I've never seen that happen before. I have never... Like, it couldn't have been the height, because... <laughs> Literally, I've done bigger jumps than that. I mean, Murphy's Law. Am I right, guys? Head back then, or... Yeah, if you can head back, because I want to take it for a little spin. I want to fly it myself. All right, guys, so this is the plan. Um, Kaz has things to do, so he has to leave. So he's going to fly back over to Port Olisar, uh, where obviously I'm currently at. And then I'm going to take it for a test drive, and we'll fly it out and uh, just play around with it ourselves. So we'll see what happens, but... Um, that was, like, oh, It wouldn't be one of my videos if that didn't happen, would it? But let's be honest, I have never seen that happen before. We must have landed on water. I saw the water. That's why I was like, no, 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 no. But I think, I don't think we were. Maybe we did hit the water. I don't know. But, you know, would it be one of my videos if that didn't happen? I don't, I don't think so. All right, guys, so I've heard rumors. So I'm basically going to head over to him at Everest Harbor. Uh, just so it's easier, because he's putting the Pisces in the ship. 
Um, so I'm going to head over to him. Am I going the right way? Why am I just forgot how to play all of a sudden? <laughs> I've heard that quantum drives and components of your ship are missing. Um, I've been reading in Discord. I didn't go into too much detail on it, though. So I, we're just going to have to wait and see. But I know that my Freelancer Max has the fastest quantum drive, I believe, that I have right now. Um, so we're going to take the Freelancer Max over there. But um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what bloody well happens, won't we? See you later, bro. So it has the Odyssey Quantum Drive, which it shouldn't have. This should have the Crossfield, I believe. Hmm. So the Quantum Drive in this thing is not the one that I want. But it's fine. It's fine. Alright, now I need to find bloody Kaz. Alright, guys. We're headed over to uh, Kaz. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright, guys. Kaz is on this little... Uh, landing spot right here. Hopefully I'm not coming in too quick. Um, so I think we're just going to jump on over to his uh, his ship and we'll go from there. Have I lost him? I promise you guys he's here somewhere. He's like right above me maybe? Have I lost him? How, how the bloody have I lost him then? Where is he? I literally just went past him. Anyone see a carrot? I'm so confused. I literally just... What the, What on earth is happening? He was just here in a carrot and he's disap... Oh, he's right! <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a bloody... I, it wasn't there, okay? Uh, this is good enough for me. Alright guys, we're just going to fly on over. I'm not using the side door because I don't know if it's still broken. But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to risk it anyway. Someone can take my ship for all they want. I'm okay with that. Knock yourselves out. Have a blast. This Just land it perfectly, okay? Don't go crashing down. Don't fall over. Freaking nailed it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Alright guys, I'll come back to you in a second. Just gotta figure out what we're doing here. I'll be right back. Yeah, I do love these little sliders. Well, not sliders, these little blinds that they have looking into there. That's cool. I like it a lot. Very nice. You know what, guys? I think... I want to test this out. You know, I don't know what I'd prefer. Would I prefer to fly from up here, which is what we're doing? What is happening to that character? I mean, imagine if you snuck on someone's ship, came up here and started doing this. They would be absolutely clueless. Alright guys, we're gonna we're gonna try for these ones instead. That was fun! Don't get me wrong. It's cool that you can control it from up there though. Alright guys, we're gonna test a simulation. On good old Hurston. Where shall I go? You know what? Edmund would be fine. Oh, great to see that the thing's still not working properly. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's got a weird noise. It sounds like... Like metal scratching on something. You know what I mean? When you move. Wait, there's no way that's the spool that's taking this long. Holy hell, the quantum on this is terrible. Why did the spool take about an hour? Alright, well, we've got a ship stuck to our roof, so that's fantastic. A little bit of drag from that, I can only assume. The quantum on this thing is incredibly slow. Like, incredibly slow. I'm not trying to spool up, I'm just having a look at the distance. Alright. And this thing's fast from what... Like, why has it got racing speed? You can see just by the, like... What are you going to call it? Speedometer? That it's, uh... It flies like a like a race ship. Or a fighter jet. Like how it has the... You see the top here? Why, is it, why am I scrolling up and down that? I'm trying to... You see how the top... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to stop complaining. We're just going to test... 
test it out. I mean, it's heavy. It can definitely spin stupidly fast. And then it takes forever to slow down. This is a big ship. I mean, it is a big ship. I'm not going to complain about it. You know, when I was flying it upstairs, though, it didn't feel that much... Like, I felt like I could have flown it up from up there. The only thing is, flying it from up there... You know, that's good if someone else takes control of the ship while you're doing something else. But, um... Flying it from up there, you can't really see the bottom of the ship like you can on this. Uh, we're going to come down here. He said it takes a while to slow down. But when I take my hand off, that actually looks... Alright, maybe it does take a while. Alright, we'll come over the ocean here, I think. This thing can spin around, though, like nobody's business. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright, let's put those landing... Landing gear down. Well... The ship's Forward gone. Proximity alert. Landing gear. <laughs> it's nothing to do with me, alright? Well, your Pisces exploded. Well, that's good news, I guess. Forward proximity alert. I don't, th I don't, I don't think it took too long to slow down there. Now, this is where I would land. Oh, wow. I'm way off, I think. Let's have a look. Alright, well, we landed it. And then I left room on the front, because that's where the front door opens. Engines offline. The engines offline sounds sick. Wow, look at that for a view. Takeoff complete. Deck proximity alert. I mean, it's pretty stable. I'm Land not gonna lie. It flies a lot better than I thought it was gonna. Alright, guys. It's not that bad. I like getting in and out. Like, I thought it would be slower. I thought it would be more difficult. It actually flies a lot better than I thought it would. It really does. It flies much better than I thought it would. And it's not that slow leaving atmosphere either. All right, we gotta try the quantum, right? I think we should take this bad boy back to PO and uh, make sure we don't crash it because I don't want Kaz to have to uh, reclaim this ship again because it does take a while. But I have heard about this bug. Spooling doesn't work, you guys hear that? I'm pressing spool, it's not working. Let's try to turn the engines off. Engines online. Let's spool it. It's not spooling. I have heard of this bug. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, it's spooling. It's spooling. It's actually doing it. I don't know. We've gone in and out of this seat multiple times. Look how long that spool is. Surely that's a bug, and this isn't real life. There's no way it takes this long to spool up. This has got to have the worst quantum drive in the history of quantum drives inside of the ship then, right? Three hours later. All right, we're finally out. Quantum drive is now on. I'm going to see if I can land this from the upper deck, though, I think. I think that'll be fun. So, yeah, so far, I really do like the ship. I am very surprised. I love the interior of the ship. Um, I love... I mean, flying it wasn't that bad at all. I definitely need more experience with it, but getting... Landing down there at Edmund and then taking off, I was actually presently surprised at that. So we're going to try and land a PO. I don't know whether to do the the up, the upper deck landing. I think I'm going to have to, right, just for the to test it out. But um, I'm pretty sure that's not what it's for. I'm pretty sure that's for, you know, someone else can take over control. I don't bloody know if I'm being honest, but we're going to try it. Gunner seat. Oh, so he's in a gunner. I didn't even know you. Could, there's gunner seats. Let's see what the gunner seats do. I know there's turrets, but why would there be gunner seats? I'm curious. I've never seen this before. Alright. Power on. Enter aerospace. All systems online. Enter remote turret. 
Oh, well, bloody hell. This is sick. I didn't know they had a... I didn't know the massive behemoth on the bloody roof was a remote turret. All right, I'm a big fan. Big fan. Okay, so you can go into the remote turret over here. What else can you do? That's it, right? Just enter the remote turret. What does this button do then? Nothing? Oh, unless he... Maybe I was in the top remote turret and he's in the bottom. That's why I can't do... I don't know, but that was sick. I didn't know this thing had remote turrets. That's uh, giving me a few points on this, I think. Yeah, I'm happy in this command station. I'm, I think I'm going to try and land it from here. I think that'll be fun. I mean, I have to try it, right? It's got a bloody command station. If I don't test out the command station, what am I even doing? I'll be honest. It's been what seems to be about three years in space. I'm, I'm slowly losing my mind. The, the quantum drives on the ship seem to be powered by a hamster on a hamster wheel. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope someday we make it to our destination, but if you get this message, know that we tried. We tried. Alright guys, we bloody made it. It only took us three million years. But we're here. Oh, we can make that jump, right? I don't know if I can quantum from here. I think I can only fly it. We're gonna try it. I can hear the spool. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Or not. But I can hear the spool doing its thing. Or oh, the calibration. Now I can hear the spool because I forgot the spool takes another few million years. Alright, we've officially spooled. Oh, we're spooling. Alright. We're doing it from the top bridge, ladies and gentlemen. We're bloody doing it. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was a little rocky. Don't worry about it. We came out on the other end. That's all that matters. Quanta bogey. Quanta bogey. All right, we got some mean guy that's chasing around people out of Port Alistar. So I just need to try and get into uh, <laughs> the Armstead Zone and attempt to land. But I'm coming in incredibly fast. I can't see speed or anything from up here. I didn't realize how fast I was going. Calm yourself. I don't know what that noise was. I do like that noise. <laughs> Alright, can I hail Port Alasar from here? No. Why don't you have Haley hails from here? You need comms, bro, because you can just do it from here, so it doesn't make any bloody sense. Not a fan of that. Halen. Alright. Alright, this isn't going to be the best landing, because I can't see the bottom of the ship, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know we're going to try it. You know we're going to try it. The problem I'm having is I don't know how high up I am. I feel like I am very high up. Am I even facing the right bloody way? Who the hell knows? That's alright. Landing takeoff take off complete. What's happening? No, no, no. No, 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 no. You landed. Go on. We bloody did it! We landed it! We landed it from this little badger. You know what? I think that was great. I don't think my emotes were. They sure bloody do. You know what that means? Yes! We bloody did it. Who's put a bloody shadow over me now then? I was trying to do a thing and then you come in. What is this? Not a fan of this. Come on, do a clap. There we bloody go. We did it! We landed from all the way up here and that was incredible. That was a lot of... That was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. All right, guys. Well, I think the comms are... Kaz said he saw the comms on there. I didn't see the comms. But um, that was fun. This ship is fun. You know, I am surprised. I think there is a few bugs, but you can't blame that on the ship. That's just, you know, something they're going to have to work on. But the quantum bug is kind of frustrating. I have heard about that from other people, so I know it's not just me. Um, but flying it wasn't too bad. This thing spins in circles like a like a fighter jet. I don't get it. 
it's incredibly fast which is kind of weird as well but um i think getting in and out of atmosphere i was you know i wouldn't mind trading in this thing at all um i think it's a bit too big for a solo crew i think that if you have a caterpillar obviously if you're trading a caterpillar would be better obviously it's a better ship to trade in anyway um but this wasn't bad this wasn't bad do i think it's worth 500 that's the question i think the people that got this ship for what was it like 300 or 350 i think those people got a good deal i think 350 for this you know not a bad ship but 500 seems really steep um but i think when it has everything uh, like working like those drone bays that we saw that i said i loved i think that you know obviously i think the ship would be worth it then um but the landing bay too you know cat doesn't have a landing bay the landing bay is sick obviously being able to get in and out quickly in the pisces that is awesome uh, i do I, I think it's a great ship i haven't used it to its full potential yet obviously i haven't used the pisces the pisces blew up on the roof i don't know what the bloody hell happened there but um having the landing bay having the med bay on board yeah this is a good ship maybe it is worth 500 now that i think about it you know having the med bay is huge a place for you to spawn having a hangar is huge it's got really good storage cargo capacity on it it's got room for cyclones it's got easy access to get you know cyclones on and off yeah i think this could be this is actually yeah now that i'm thinking about it there is a lot of stuff on this ship and once it's fully working properly like i say with the drones yeah the 500 price tag isn't you know that bad it just has a few bugs it needs to work on but anyway let's uh go take a look at it from outside so yeah guys this is the room i meant when this room actually works properly, like the drone room, this is actually a good hiding place if you come in one of these ships, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're not going to see me. Um, but I think this would be a cool spot for a stowaway. <laughs> uh oh. I'm trying to get off. I'm coming. All right, the ship's being stored. How do I bloody get off this thing? What's this? Service ladder. That'll do me. Let's go down. Down. Wait, I can go up too. You know what? That was fantastic. Why not? All right, I'm just trying to get. No, get down the ladders. Get down. Go this door. Looks like a badger that I need to go through. Sure is. You know what? I feel like he did say that there was um, someone trying to get on the ship outside. So if I go out this door, I'm get... someone's going to get on board, and we don't want that to happen. So I think I'll wait. Until uh, hello. You disappeared. Wow. I mean, that's that's new. Usually, I fall through the ship onto the landing pad, but it put me nice and safely in uh, Port Alsa. I'll take it. All right, guys. So that's actually gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Three point eight point two so far, so good. Um, I haven't done any proper trade, or I haven't done any trading yet so far. I love the persistence. Um, I love that, you know, I've got my armor. I love that I've got my money. I love that I've got my ships. I do feel bad about the Valkyrie, like I say. Sorry, uh, Laven. <laughs> if you, whenever you want it, yours. Um, and also, yeah, it's been awesome. The ship, like I say, I've done my closing statement on the ship. Um, I've said all I have to say about it. It's a great ship. Um, I think it's got a lot of potential when it fully, when it works properly. But, you know, it's still, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. Thanks to Kaz, everyone. Make sure you say thanks to Kaz for letting me come on in this ship. Uh, he is also the person that donated the caterpillar back in the day, the caterpillar, to the channel. So I appreciate him always for uh, helping us out here on the channel. But uh, yeah, let's make sure everyone says goodbye. And thank you to Kaz. Kaz, let's give a wave. There he is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Kaz. So thank you again, Kaz. Thanks again, Kaz. Appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. All right, guys. That is Kaz. I love his outfit. He always looks like some stealth freaking fighter, doesn't he? He's got the same pants as us, the same armor, but he's got a black chest piece, black helmet. It looks sick. Looks good. Looks good. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And um, I'll see you tomorrow with a stream. Don't forget, go into Discord so you can see the stream and all that stuff below. Um, or you'll see what's going to happen. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See you tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.